Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some new news in regards to a new Legion of Superheroes show coming to HBO Max, and also we have some news in regards to Melissa Benoist and her future projects. I thought I would keep you guys updated in regards to that. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so... First things first, we're going to talk about Legion and Superheroes, then we'll get into the Melissa of a nice side of things in this video. But as you guys know, we've all been asking for a Legion of Superheroes show for a very long time. Well, at least I have, and I know a lot of you guys that tune into the live streams and watch the videos, you've been asking for a Legion of Superheroes show. However, we've been asking for a Legion of Superheroes show that is linked to the Arrowverse. Now, there is no confirmation if this upcoming show is actually linked or not. However, as far as we know, it's probably not. And so the show is actually being written by Brian Michael Bendis, and this is where this news comes from. On his Instagram, if you guys don't know Brian, he is a comic book writer, and so he is heavily linked with the Legion because he's written the comics many times in the past. And so it's based on, you know, comics made by him, but also the original ones by Otto Binder and other writers from the past. But Brian just posted something very interesting. He posted a look at the pilot for his new Legion of Superheroes show. And so it's just a page where he's revealing, oh, I finished the Legion of Superheroes pilot. And you can see the date of like when he did the second draft, the third draft, meaning that he's made lots of revisions that is standard when it comes to writing screenplays. He wrote the second draft on the fourth month of the year, that being April, and then now he's finished the third draft just actually a couple of days ago on the 5th of July, and so that's why he's posting it online, because it seems the third draft is what they're going to go for, otherwise why would he have posted this? And so, like I was mentioning earlier, this show was actually teased before, and it was teased as a non arava show, and so in the description of his post, Brian Michael Bendis actually uses the tag hashtag HBO Max. That actually ties into what we were hearing last year. And we heard from Brian Michael Bendis himself last year that he was writing a Legion of Superheroes show and he described it as an adult animated series for HBO Max. And so, yes, it's still coming for HBO Max. That's who he is writing it for. However, obviously the screenplay doesn't mention whether this is for animation or is this for live action. I mean, there's always the chance that they have pivoted, but as far as we know, it is still a animated show that is going to be coming to HBO Max. And so with it being in the animation format, I'm gonna say it's very unlikely that it's linked to the Arrowverse, and considering he described it as like an adult animated series, it's probably something more along the lines of say Rick and Morty or something. I know it's not linked at all, but I mean Rick and Morty is an adult animated series that a lot of you probably have watched before, so that's why I make the comparison. And so I don't think it's actually going to link into the Arrowverse. I think this is just going to be Brian using his Legion of Superheroes characters and the stories that he's had in the past and basically using that to try and create an animated show that obviously he wants to be successful and I'm sure it will be successful and maybe it's going to be in the style of something like Young Justice that would totally be cool and I think a lot of people are going to be up for this show because Legion of Superheroes is pretty popular and it's very exciting to see these characters on screen no matter if it's live action or not whether it's in the Arrowverse or in animation or in the comic books they are cool characters and so naturally I'm very excited but let's talk a little bit about the Arrowverse. Could a Legion of Superheroes show still come? Well, I think with the announcement from Brian actually that this show is actually coming and he's doing the pilot right now, if this pilot goes through and it's successful and HBO Max want to order a series of this animated show, I'm gonna say it's very, very unlikely that a Legion of Superheroes show is ever going to come to the Arrowverse or the CW for a long time until that show is finished. And honestly, right now, I don't know where the Arrowverse is at. I really don't know if it's going to last more than, say, five more years, because The Flash is probably gonna go away in the next, like, two to three years latest. And then you have Superman Lois, which is continuing, but isn't really set in the Arrowverse. It's set elsewhere on another Earth. 
Same with Stargo, and then you also have the same situation with Gotham Knights, but the only saving grace that we potentially have is the Justice U John Diggle show that was announced to be in development a while ago. Now that is very likely to be in the Arrowverse because John Diggle is an Arrow character, however there's been skepticism about that show since Superman Lois revealed that there is John Diggle on the Earth and we've seen him, so is it possible that Justice U is set on Superman Lois' Earth? I think it's possible if Justice U comes after the Flash is finished and then they want to keep everything at least Superman Lois centric, so we'll have to wait and see, so that is why I say I really don't know where the Arrowverse is going, I don't know the shows that are going to come past Gotham Knights and Justice U, there's been nothing else that has been announced to be in development, so Justice U is our only saving grace as of right now, and so I really don't see a Legion of Superheroes show happening on the CW anytime soon, despite me thinking it would be a great idea, and it would be a great opportunity to bring back some Supergirl characters to have like Dreamer and Brainy in the Legion, and bring them back and also introduce new characters from the Legion that we have previously referenced in Supergirl and have them in the Arrowverse, but alas, it's probably not going to happen, so I would not get your hopes up at all. It doesn't seem like this Legion of Superheroes show is going to be live action. According to all reports, it's definitely animated, and Brian actually doesn't mention it, so I think that has caused some confusion as to people that weren't up to date when he released the official announcement, like last year, when he mentioned that it was an animated show, so I think a lot of people are going to presume that this post is linking to maybe the HBO Max series that are in live action, because you have to remember they've got a lot of live action DC content that they are piping out, and you have new shows coming to it like Green Lantern, and various other different shows that are probably going to come in the future alongside shows like Titans and Doom Patrol that are already on HBO Max. So I understand if there is some confusion. So that is the Legion of Superheroes news that I wanted to cover in today's video. But for now, let's move on to the Supergirl Melissa Benoist news. Well, it's not really Supergirl related, but I wanted to keep you guys updated because I know we have many Melissa Benoist fans here just like myself. And so it's been officially announced that she's renewed her deal with Warner Brothers TV. And this is a renewal after last year when it was announced that Melissa Benoist had gained a contract with Warner Bros TV basically that she would develop different series at HBO Max and potentially some films. We'll have to wait and see when they actually come out but this is a continuation of her overall deal with Warner Bros TV. But along with this announcement it was announced that Melissa Benoist will actually be starring in a new show, her first show post Supergirl. And this is a show that she was rumoured to be actually developing as a producer and she is going to be producing the show but there was also rumours that she would be the lead of the show and that show is titled The Girls on the Bus and so this is coming to HBO Max. They haven't filmed anything yet, it's just been announced that she has officially been cast and she is working on this show and so this is a drama that was originally set up at the CW before it moved to Netflix and then it landed at HBO Max and we are going to get a whole season of that so I look forward to actually seeing this show when it comes out. So this show is actually going to be produced by Greg Berlanti and Sarah Schechter, who you guys know have run lots of the Arrowverse shows before. Sarah was a producer on Supergirl like Greg Berlanti, and so this is them reuniting with Melissa. And then also it's going to be written and executive produced, so run by The Vampire Diaries executive producer Julie Pleck. And so the series will see Benoist, who will play a reporter again just like she did in Supergirl, for five years, depicting a new type of journalist. And so it's very exciting and Melissa put out a statement. She said, I've had a wonderfully supportive home at Warner Bros for the last six years and I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to put on the producer's hat and continue working with them. She said that last year and she said, I approach my work as an actor in search of that magic gut feeling you get when you know something is right I plan on following those instincts as a producer, approaching each story with passion, playfulness, curiosity, a sure-footed step, and like all things, worth taking a risk on, a hint of terror. I can't wait to collaborate with new voices and find stories that hit the heart in that indefinable way." And so 
this series is actually an adaptation from a 2018 book titled Chasing Hillary, 10 Years, Two Presidential Campaigns and One Intact Glass Ceiling. And it follows four female journalists who follow every move of a parade of flawed presidential candidates. So definitely a political show. I'm looking forward to it. Melissa actually hasn't worked on anything in quite a while. She's done a couple of films here and there. She's done like that wacko TV series that we saw a while ago, but that's pretty much it since she's been on Supergirl. She did quite a lot of stuff before, including Glee, but with Supergirl, that schedule was packed. She had no time at all, and so it's very exciting to see her working on a new project post Supergirl, and I know all of you Supergirl and Melissa fans will be watching it, and that's why I am talking about it in today's video. And the same thing would go for Grant Gustin. If he did a show after The Flash eventually ends, I will still talk about it because it's DC TV related. I know you guys want to stay up to date with the main actors who used to be on the shows. Obviously, Grant's still on the show, but Melissa isn't on Supergirl right now. But I know you guys will want to stay up to date. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a little bit of a mishmash of a video between these two pieces of news. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully it informed you, and so if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it really helps out the channel. Also subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos, and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.